Hi! For today's video, I thought I'd just talk about what HSAM or Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory is and the purposes, the main purposes there are when it comes to studying it. Now, HSAM is an extremely rare memory condition which makes a person unable to forget any day of their life, pretty much. I myself was identified by the University of California, Irvine as having HSAM in 2013. However, the condition itself was discovered in 2006, so seven years prior to that. Now, autobiographical memories are memories we have of what we've personally experienced in our lifetime. Everyone has autobiographical memories regardless of whether they've got HSAM or not and they pretty much make up all of what has been widely dubbed our long-term memories. Now, the only difference is when it comes to HSAM is that we seem to have an inability to discard any of them. So, so, um, we often can remember back to our very early years, such as since, such as in my case, it's since I was a newborn child, a few days old. I can't forget any day after that. Now, there's so far 60 some, I used to think 80, but now there's 60 people identified by the University of California, Irvine as having HSAM worldwide. Now, many questions do get raised as to what the exact purpose is of us being included in research and having HSAM studied. Now, many people have asked me, they've said, but what is the point of studying people? You know, what's the point? You just have a strong autobiographical memory ability. What's the point in it? Well, the point is that science is beginning to wonder whether or not anybody ever truly forgets things. And this becomes so apparent when you look at other cases involving memory, like Alzheimer's and dementia, and even stroke damage where all of a sudden people are able to recall things that they would never have been able to do beforehand. Now, people with HSAM often have a very poor short-term memory, and that's the case with me. In my own case, as well as most other people with HSAM, memories become clearer as they get older such as things I, that I forgot that I did earlier today would be permanently remembered in a decade's time. Now, when it comes to Alzheimer's and dementia, something really interesting does show itself, given that as the short, in the early stages of Alzheimer's, as the short-term memories deplete, the long-term memory ability ap appears to strengthen. And that certainly is the, and that, and it's interesting when it comes to HSAM because of our poor short term memories, we're able to recall our distant past much easier. And science is wondering whether the reason that most people forget experiences that happened much earlier on, science is wondering whether it's our short term memories that distract us from from retrieving those very early memories. But then again, with, with Alzheimer's, as the damage goes deeper into the brain, the long-term memories deplete as well. That's what happened to my granddad quite recently. When he got diagnosed with Alzheimer's at first, he'd be telling me all these stories about his classmates and when he watched me and my brother putting together a Lego Technic set, he was reciting all of the all of the Meccano sets he got as a child, and he was even talking about what the guy who sold him the Meccano sets at the counter wore. But then it got to a stage where 
he wasn't even able to do that and he had to be put in a nursing home. And that's one of the reasons why I feel it's very important that I'm involved in the HSM study because Alzheimer's is something, is an issue that's very close to me given that my grandfather had it and I'm, I'm really happy to be allowing myself to be researched completely voluntarily in the hope that it will find answers to help, to help out cases like him. So to end this, I'll say that HSAM, yes, it, all it is is just having a strong autobiographical memory ability, though not necessarily a strong, because there's many different layers of, there's many different layers of memory and it's just our autobiographical memories that are strong. And so, yeah, in, in terms of that, it, yeah, sorry, let me just begin this again. Yes, it's just our autobiographical memories that are strong. However, there isn't, there isn't anything, there isn't much that we ourselves can do with it. You know, there's, there's very little careers that involve a strong autobiographical memory ability, but researching it is very important as it doesn't just help us, it helps human society in general. Thank you.